What's up guys, my name is Zero Heroes and welcome back to more Call to Arms and I hope everybody has had an awesome weekend. Let me know down in the comments what you have done during the weekend. Now, today we are back with the cheat menu mod and also the never ending missions mod and also the other mod which is a... Uh, I think the inventory mod, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, I forgot, you know what, the other mod. Now if you do want to play it for yourself, the, 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 if you do want to play it for yourself, then I will leave it in the description down below, so you can play it for yourself. Now, today a lot, actually a lot of you have requested for me to actually play the cheap menu mod again, and to be honest, I was, never expected that, I thought many of you would say, oh, Zero, you cheated, you know, stop using the mods and all that. But no, actually, a lot of you have asked, you know, can, Zero, can you explain the, the cheat menu more? Can you play more of it? You know, so I'm they, I'm delivering it to you guys. Today, we are back with the cheat menu mod. Now, of course, I am still going to go with the never-ending missions because I feel like that's more appropriate for it. Now, a lot of you have, ex a lot of you have asked, actually, to explain it. And, um, you know, can you explain to a zero you know what it is and how to use it so uh, when you you by the way for the cheat menu you will need the other two mods as well with it you cannot download the cheat menu by itself so make sure you download the other two mods again which will be in the description now again it's highly like it's recommended that you go in the never ending missions mod so that means you have a bunch of missions here that you can play now it will give you a bunch of options to choose from it's very much the same as kind of like the domination game mode where you just have to take a couple of cat points i think it is from last time remember if not then i'm a dumbass but basically i'm just going to be doing a quick and short video which is that which we are going to be doing the bridge of opportunity now when you click one of the missions it will give you the mission options now the missions options will ask you so you have to choose vehicle reinforcements units for, for me, for myself, and the enemy player. So that's when we get reinforcements. That means we can either choose between the support vehicles, the light armoured and support vehicles, the medium armoured and support vehicles, or the heavy armoured and support vehicles. So it's completely up to you guys. It's completely up to you what you choose. But I'm going to be going for the medium armoured this time. So that means we. So that means myself and the enemy have a fair chance of actually, you know, having a fair fight now i'm going to be going as germany and the enemy are going to be going as russia or the ai is russia and so you can choose from the usa and also all the factions are currently in the game that's if of you, that's of course if you have the the season pass uh dlc installed so that will give you the russia uh the russia the russian faction and the german faction and i'm hoping the russian uh, campaign soon hint hint call to arms maybe we'll get that soon anyway so once you've picked your your vehicle reinforcements your factions then it'll ask you the mission weather now it this is very easy so you can either do it, it'll pick for you it'll pick the a random daytime or weather if you or if you don't want that you can either choose it daytime with rain night with rain evening with dawn daytime with clouds or nighttime with clear sky now of course for this video i'm going to keep it daytime so with daytime with clouds so you guys can actually see the gameplay and not just do it at night so th this is what you have to choose and if you're still confused by choose vehicle reinforcements units for player and enemy that basically just means that when you get reinforcements it will come out with medium armored and support vehicles or it'll and or it'll come out with light armored as your reinforcement so once you've got this all picked just press ok and then we'll get into and then it'll take you into the gameplay so i will see you in a minute when we are ready to go okay guys so here we are so this is what you spawn in as so when you come into the game it the it will automatically spawn you some some troops over here as per so now you'll have to kind of you'll kind of if you want you'll kind of you'll kind of have to organize it yourself but what the game will actually do for you which is quite clever it will separate the troops so these guys are the german ksk and of course these guys are like snipers and engineers so they'll separate what they'll do it will separate the the infantry so that means they're like not all together and you'll have to kind of take ages to kind of um to get everyone together so you know it will it will do it automatically for you so we'll get everyone here now now once you do that 
what it what it is i don't know for some reason they're already sort of firing at something um so lucy the virtual battleground command units to destroy enemy receive reinforcements survive at all costs so i don't know if you just heard that but basically it just gave you a quick little uh, induction there of what you basically have to do so the enemy will will start spawning you will see the enemy there is no fog war so you do see who's actually coming and of course this is kind of like the the medium armor uh, reinforcements i'm talking about so they so you actually have so it is very much kind of like a fair competition that you're going up against right now so let's get everyone quickly set up so it looks like they're We'll see, look, see what I mean? They're bringing out BMPs and all that. So it's actually, actually, this is actually pretty unfair. So as you can see, I actually have the cheat menu right here. And what this does, what this actually allows me to do is that it's very loud, isn't it? Hold on, let me just get away from all the action over here because I cannot hear a goddamn thing. Can I pause a second? Okay, I'm going to pause it a second so I can quickly show you this. So once you open up the cheat menu over here. So this here itself, this is just the mission. This is a mod mission. But over here, this will give you the cheat menu. And this cheat menu, of course, says in the main, you can basically cheat. So what you can do, you can either switch factions. You can spawn, you can spawn infantry if you want. You can spawn land vehicles. You can spawn air vehicles. You can either... Do open selection modifying various gameplay options. I don't know what that means. I think that just means you slightly change the gameplay of it. You can either spawn enemies or you can go back to the main menu, which is over here. So I'm just going to click unready here. So this again, so I, I have to unpause this due to the fact that, you know, I have to uh, I have to do all this. So basically, as you can see, I can choose as many reinforcements as I want. I can either call an artillery strike. I can call, okay, you know what, for sakes, I'm just going to call an artillery strike on this BMP because we're kind of actually getting slightly outnumbered here. And as you can see, there you go, this is what I mean by, and we can either, we can either delete spawn units or any, any units that we spawn, we can just delete them straight after. See, and thing, it's just, honestly, it's, it, say, it literally says it in the name, it's, it is very much a cheap menu. We, we can, you know, we can also repair a vehicle if we want. I don't know how that actually works, but we can see once we click automatically repair vehicle, it repairs our vehicles very quickly like that. Uh, we can also call for, we can also create su resupply points full of various weapons. So um, also we have a bunch of infantry over here. So let's say we don't want any infantry and we just want tanks and all that. Um, also, I'm just, you're just very awkwardly just standing there. Okay, so also we can call and modify inventory of your units. I generally don't know what that means as well. It's kind of just, oh, okay, so what this means is that you can either, you can add like guns. Oh my god, this is very cool. So I'm still partially learning this myself. So basically we can add any guns we want. We can drop equipment weapons we can drop as much stuff as we want you can see we can drop any we can give we can give ourselves grenades weapons basically everything we can drop ammo for our weapons we can and that's basically it so that's very much it for the for the uh, for the uh, for the infantry section if we go to the tank section over here we can go down and as you can see it will spawn start spawning like uh, supply trucks, I'll sport uh, Humvees, you can start doing strikers, you know, you can call it Abrams, but let's say you don't want, like, you don't want any of the Americans, you know, you don't want the American unit, and you just want, and you want to pick a different faction, let's say. So, okay, so let's say we go back all the way to the top, and we switch factions, and we want to pick germany because that's a faction we are so we go germany over here and there we go and we have germany and when we go to let's say pick a vehicle as you can see it's now has americans and german vehicles so let's say i want to spawn maybe uh, a spz puma so there you go it will instantly spawn one and there you go and that is how the cheap menu works
if that makes sense. I hope I've explained it pretty well. Now let's say again you just want to return to unit selection. You go back and this will only and that now give you an option of of going back to the main menu. Or you can or let's say you want to actually just spawn enemies to make this harder, you know, because you find it too easy. So what you can do, you can spawn an armored a medium armored wave, you can spawn a lightly armored wave, or you can spawn an infantry wave. So in this case, I will spawn an infantry wave. So let's spawn the infantry wave over here. And as you can see, it has spawned a Duram sniper, has, has spawned a lot of stuff. But let's say I want to pick it up slightly more. Let's say I want this to be a lot more challenging. Let us spawn a medium armored a medium armored wave. We'll pick here. And you can see it'll start spawning BTRs, BMPs, as you can see it'll start spawning all sorts of vehicles. So that is really how it works. I I kind of hope this kind of kind of explains how it works. And um, this again, as you can see, they're just spawning way more. You can see they now have a BMP3, they have a BTR80, they have a lot more. Or let's say you don't want to, let's say you want all waves to spawn, you just don't want, you know, singular waves to spawn, and you want to spawn all waves. What we'll do, we'll click it here, and they'll start spawning infantry, they'll start spawning tanks, they'll start spawning armored vehicles, artillery, all sorts like that. And as you can see, the waves are now going to get tougher. But let's say you're severely outnumbered like me, you only have a couple infantry, and you only have an SPZ Puma. So what you want to do, you want to go back to... You want to go to air vehicles, and let's say you want to get a wee bit of support, you can call in a helicopter. And there you go, I have a helicopter, and we'll, and we'll start to take off, if I can remember how to take off. If I remember how to fly this thing, yep. So you press Q to go up, that's right. And there you go, the helicopter will just start doing it. Okay, so let's say also that you want to turn invulnerability. In, in, that one here, invulnerability. This basically clicks to make your units invulnerable to enemy fire, which basically makes you god. Which basically I don't think you want to do because that's basically that's really cheating. So, and um, but let's say you want to uh, you want to click the units AI off. So what this does, this chooses enable AI mode for cheat menu crates. Wait, what? Choose to enable AI mode for cheat menu. Well, I can't read it because for created units, created units. Oh, so this basically allows the AI to to have the to have the cheat menu as well. And I think that's really it. But let's say you want to actually get some squads. So there you go. So what we've done, we've deleted a few stuff. You can gather units and prepare for the next wave. So there you go. So basically all the enemy waves that we just spawned and are all the stuff that we spawned. If you don't want them, just click the deleted spawn units and it'll delete everything you've just spawned except from this except from the units that originally spawned from the start. And of course, we'll just pull our units back because I feel quite severely outnumbered here. And of course, the only thing they have left is a glitchy an AI pathing BMP which apparently doesn't know how to work. Okay, so that I think is really it. Uh, I kind of hope this has kind of explained how things work. I don't know what, if we go to game modifications again, that basically, so if we go to modify, modify inventory of your units, we click that and let's say we want to add a bison. You know what we'll do, we'll click it here and what that will do, it will spawn, I'm hoping it will just drop in or something. Um, I actually don't know where it is. Um, okay, what happens? Okay, I'm just doing this for theory. I don't know. Again, some of it might be quite glitchy, so I don't know if everything works. But we're, I, you know, it's a work in progress. I would say, I would still say it's very much a work in progress. So, because not everything works, because I can't add weapons or I can't add Molotovs or anything like that, unless it spawns the next wave. So that is it. I hope I've kind of 
hopefully explained everything as much as possible. And of when you try to go back and it spawns, let's say you let's say you click on land vehicles, but let's say you don't want to and you want to return it to the unit selection. Well, do it. It will spawn. It will kind of look something like this. But don't worry, it's not glitched. All you need to do is just scroll up over here, and it'll take you back to the cheat menu mod. So there we go, guys. I hope that's kind of explained everything as much as possible. Uh, I kind of hope. I kind of hope that's explained everything. If not, then of course let me know in the comments down below. I think there is also something else that we can do. I don't know if we can do that. No, no, no. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, guys, that is it for today. I kind of hope, again, I've explained everything as much as possible. If I have missed anything, of course, then you can let me, guys, let me know in the comments down below. And guys, just let you know, we are only six subs away from 500 subscribers and if we can reach that 500 subscribers i will do a special a very special live stream on this channel so make sure you do subscribe to the channel to to if you want me to to live stream call to arms and hopefully if we can get it out in time that i can play the russian campaign and live stream it so if you guys do want all of that make then make sure you do subscribe down below and if you do subscribe you will get a shout out at the end of the video and if you have subscribed but it hasn't come up on my notifications then just thank you very very much for subscribing I really, really hope that we do reach 500 subscribers by the end of the year. We have now just started November, so and I really, really do believe that we can reach that 500 subscriber mark. So if we can do that, that would be absolutely amazing. So guys, make sure you keep subscribing and also click the notification bell to get more videos like this. So you can keep up to date on the channel for more kind of, I don't know, I, would, I don't know if I call this a tutorial, but it's definitely, definitely something else. So there we go guys, that is it for today. I'd like to thank you so much for watching and if you guys have any questions or queries about this mission at all, then of course please do let me know in the comments down below. And of course, I, w I am a lot of you requesting different missions and all that, but don't worry, all of it is still to come on the channel. Just make sure to, sit, to stay tuned on the channel and keep and I'll keep you guys posted as much as possible. So other than that, guys, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. I adore your support, and I will see you in the next video. See you later, and goodbye. Hello.